Good morning. Uh, welcome to the class. Uh, this morning I went to Max Steele for every group got you a paper to be present in the meeting. Do you got a paper? No? So do you have a syllabus? Do you have a syllabus? So there are five, four. Four article, right? Four? Oh, four article, yeah. The four article will be uh, present by you, right? Uh, all these uh, uh, article come from the Harvard Business Review, okay? And uh, so you, so you didn't know this? No. no. So, no. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So next week, uh, all this uh, paper will be uh, hand out to you. Okay. And. Uh, how many group now? Seven. Seven. Seven group. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. They are right. So uh, please uh, uh, see the syllabus. Okay. Please uh, hand out to you. Uh, in the beginning of the class and pre-check uh, there are four paper here this here right uh, the paradox of uh, Samsung rice all these paper are very practical press very practical uh, uh, paper okay and the second is uh, create creating uh, the global talent and the third paper winding the race for global talent Managing yourself, making it overseas. So all these uh, paper are talking about the some international human resourcement practices of uh, MACS. Yeah, and most of them uh, are Asia's company like uh, Samsung, right? Uh, like I, I mean that all the modern company, uh, many modern company, uh, they. Uh, do business in Asia, right? So all these uh, paper talk about how they uh, conduct international business in Asia and how they manage the, uh, their human resource in Asia, okay? So I want you to read all this paper and got the content and got the point and present in uh, the class and let everybody can have some discuss, okay? It's okay? It? No. So it means uh, we have to choose only one out of four this topic and make the presentation. We yeah. We don't so have to uh, every paper should be presented by two group. The first group will present the content of this uh, paper, introduce the the content to all the student, and then the second group will come up to uh, uh, present your idea. Uh, some critical idea and has some uh, comment, right? And other, any other idea, right? You think can complement to this paper, okay? So uh, every paper should be presented by two groups, okay? What uh, first group introduced the content of this paper, okay? Like it, like it. So. You will download it to University? Uh, you, you can download, uh, because I, okay. if you check, I had uh, this, the, all this, the publication of this paper, mm -hmm. uh, Fortunate Review, and uh, yeah, this, uh, Harvard, all the come from the Harvard Business Review, and I, I had uh, shown all the publication day, okay? So actually, you can uh, go to the web to get the paper, okay? And, uh, hand up, please uh, assign, okay? Uh, each group, uh, uh, what, what, what task they want to do, okay? Yeah. No, so. When? Sorry? But the dates don't fit anymore. They don't fix. The dates don't fit anymore because otherwise we wouldn't have a final presentation. Uh, so you mean that not in the. the 
the schedule, right? Okay. Now, no problem. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I um, arranged. Okay, I will arrange it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Before. Yeah. I think the. Uh, the let me. Uh, I will arrange it. Okay. And announce to you uh, next next week. Okay. So Hannah, please assign. The Thank you. We have one A, one B, two A, two B, three A, three B, and four. So A will be introduction, and B will be uh, comment. Comment of the people. And every week should be uh, there should be two paper pre to be presented every week, right? So I think uh, in the December, uh, the first week, uh, from the first week in December, right? Yeah. Okay. So if uh, you group want to uh, leave earlier, okay, please uh, take the earlier, okay? They can have the earlier presentation of the paper. How long for the presentation? Uh, every group have a, a set from the 30 minutes to 40 minutes, okay? Okay. Is okay? Enough? Okay. Yeah. Now today let's come to uh, this uh, chapter uh, entitled the Global uh, Talent Management and uh, Staffing. Okay. Uh, in this chapter, uh, I will talk about the global work uh, for the planning and forecasting. Right, and for every money company, uh, when they want to uh, expand uh, their uh, global market, yeah, they need to have this uh, global workforce planning. Okay, they need to decide uh, how many workforces they, uh, they will need in every country, in every uh, country market. Okay, and uh, they should decide uh, uh, how many manager. International manager, they need to manage all uh, this uh, international business in every country. Okay, and this, then we talk about the staff in the ME. Okay, we will uh, introduce uh, how ME uh, uh, select and they recruit and select uh, their international manager. Uh, whether they come from the home country or. Uh, 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 in uh, the host country, okay, and so after this, uh, then we will talk about the staffing with the international dining. Uh, if uh, this uh, international manager uh, come from home country or uh, other country, yeah, they should staffing with this uh, international dining. Okay, so this international specimen is very important, right today. Uh, many international come here. Uh, you t get the uh, international experience, and then you will be uh, considered to be the uh, their potential uh, international manager. Uh, when you are hired uh, by a Mozilla company, yeah, maybe they will assign you to work uh, in other country. Okay. Now my my first son working uh, uh, is working in Dubai, right? It's all too bad. It's very hard uh, because uh, he's a Canadian, and you know, <laughs> in Vancouver, it's uh, the weather is very good. But uh, when he work in Dubai, it's oh, so hard. Yeah, for, for international manager, yeah, he need to uh, uh, adapt it to uh, any <laughs> working environment. Okay, in the global uh, market, and then. How to uh, select the host country's nation? Okay, so sorry, what that? Hmm. Yeah, so this chapter will uh, begin with the discussion of the process of planning and overall for state. 
I describe the great diversity of the staff of, uh, to, of staff the typical uh, ME uh, employees and then explain the process of recruiting, selecting, hiding, onboarding and managing the staff. Okay? So uh, we should know that enterprise that develop uh, this international operation must find staff in whatever location they operate. Uh, or they locate the staff they need you available uh, is unavailable or locally to those locations. Learn to recruit and hire in multiple locations and the culture and deploy staff where it makes most sense for the enterprise. If I remember in the first class I give you this question right, to discuss uh, yeah, uh, for some uh, uh, five star hotel luxury level hotel yeah if they want to expand market in China okay for example the higher right the higher hotel okay and um, first they should, should choose they should choose to set up their uh, hotel okay all these uh, hotel higher rich cotton okay this uh, luxury uh, five star a global brand hotel, right? So where should they stop the hotel in China? Huh? Well, how do you, do you know? First, do you know? For all these uh, luxury uh, hotel, right? Global brand hotel. They want to do business in Asia, in China. Uh, how do you think? Start from Shanghai. Yeah. Why? Because Shanghai is a modern city which uh, accumulates a lot of businesses, foreign businesses, and there are a lot of money in Shanghai. So people can afford themselves to stay one or two nights in a luxury hotel because they went to Shanghai for business trips and the company covered their expenses. So they don't pay for it yeah. very yeah. often. Very good energy. Yeah. So because Shanghai is the city, right? With the many international travel, right, travel, uh, who do business there, right, and we visit uh, their customer there. So, yeah, so, okay, so after you choose Shanghai at your uh, uh, first site, right, to set up your uh, hotel, then, <laughs> then come up another question, right, how can you uh, recruit the enough right, manager work for you or you know the serving the the, the, the this uh, serving uh, attendant right to work for you okay yeah for this uh, luxury level hotel okay yeah from where should you recruit the, the manager from local, from from Asia, right? Or Asia region, country, or where? Right? You cannot set up a a, a factory or set up a no a hotel and cannot find engineer, right? Find the manager work for you there, right? Right? So, how do you think? The idea come from you. How do you think? Now, Grand, uh, Grand Hyatt, okay? Set up the hotel in Shanghai. Can they find uh, enough international manager work for him in, sh in Dhaka, in Shanghai? recruit all the major yeah from China. It's is available. Hmm? Surely not, right? Because the uh, economy developing developing uh, stage. Right? China you cannot find enough uh this uh, the high class uh, 
serving manager in China. Really, right? So, yeah. Now come up this question. Okay. So basically, <laughs> got uh, this uh, middle level and uh, a higher uh, rank uh, ejected worker then. Right? For fat considering uh, factor. How do you think? Language, right? How do you think? Language? Language. Cultural background. Mm -hmm. If you want, you are hired to serve, right, in China. What do you need? What kind of recompense do you need? Sure, for language, right? Language. Yeah. You should know some Chinese, right? Some Chinese. Some Chinese. Okay. Because in China, you all need to communicate with the government, right? Even the, the, the city government. Okay. Yeah. Language. Cultural background and the professional expertise, right? Okay, you should have uh, enough uh, working experience in this uh, luxury level hotel, right? Yes? So, so they should, they should assign the executive team from their Headquarter, right? From headquarter. Or transfer some executive member from other hotel, right? From from no so from other country, right? In their hotel group. The first, right? The first. And then concerning the second level, the middle level, maybe they they are not enough uh, manager can be transferred from their one group. So they should consider to transfer, uh, no, to uh, acquire some middle level manager, right? From where? From the regional country, right? From Korea, from Hong Kong, from Japan, from Taiwan, right? From Singapore, okay? Because some of them had the same culture background, even the language, right? It's, they're similar, okay? Uh, yeah, so think about this. All this kind of uh, uh, assignment or all this kind of uh, recruitment, yeah, is the international staffing issue. Okay. So, HR professional will be asked to provide information about the adequacy of the local labor market prior to the phone decision about failure to locate their global operation, right? And or failure to participate in any cross-border acquisition, joint venture or alliance. Yeah because of the shortage of skilled worker and the acquisition and deployment of talent are key global HR imperative. Right? Yeah. So, ideally, the data about such level of uh, force uh, characteristic as participation rate, level and quality of education and literacy, availability of skill training, and language gear and employment rate by country and uh, metropolitan area within country will be available to have IHR uh, plan for their firm's local workforce, right? Uh, so, in this situation, in the case of the uh, Grand Haya, yeah, the middle level, the major should be uh, recruited from the regional country, right? 
However, how about the, this uh, low rank of manager, right? It can be acquired from the local, right? From local, yeah. And acquired from some uh, some uh, international hotel, right? In uh, China, right? Or even near Shanghai, okay? Yeah. So this adequate should be one component of rejective de decision making process for fair and with firm to do business. In any case, it's IHR that is expected to provide such information. So IHR people is very important in Montana company. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ten years ago, when uh, many high tech manufacturing company. Uh, set up their factory in China from Taiwan 10 years ago, many high tech and the most important thing for them is to choose choose the site right, fail so they locate this uh, factory they need to consider fail there is enough engineer can be higher right in the locale right, in the city or around the metropolitan area, okay? So, you know, many high-tech, high-tech company uh, set up their factory in China, in only some city, right? Shenzhen, Shanghai, Beijing, and Suzhou, right? Suzhou, Suzhou, and Wuhan. And then Chengdu, Chongqing. Know why? Because in all this uh, area, there are some famous university, right? Which can provide the enough uh, engineer background, <laughs> right? Engineer background uh, employee to work for them. Also, they need to consider fair all the city uh, can accommodate their international manager or their home country's uh, professional engineer can work there. Right? They need to consider the convenience, right? The convenience of the uh, this living convenience, convenience. Okay. So, probably the most important level uh, force issue for developed country is uh, economy, is their aging population, aging population, Japan, USA, Europe, right? And the resulting level shortage, with more people retiring than entering the level force to be president, okay? Yeah, this, all this, uh, the, in, the, the employment issue uh, come from the developed country, okay? However, uh, the level of uh, force issue of concern in most developing and emerging economy is their large young labor workers who often lack the skill, their skill, okay? Set that job in every year required. Uh, that's uh, the case of uh, Gwen Haya, right? Yeah, when you want to set up this uh, uh, hotel, luxury level hotel in China, okay, they cannot find uh, the enough skilled worker, right? Enough skilled manager to work for them. In some way, uh, this opposing the profile provides balance in the global workforce, right? Uh, with the surplus of young workers in, the, in China, in India, right? Uh, providing level for aging and shrinking the work, uh, labor force in a developed country. So in USA, like many hotels will <laughs> acquire the, the nurse, the nurses, mm -hmm. right, the nurses from many Asia country, right, from Philippines, right, from Taiwan, right, yeah, from Korea, 
Okay. The firm that want to conduct business in emerging market, I can know in ensuring the a good local workforce it can be critical. Not enough. Right? Now many manufacturing company uh, will be transferred from China to Vietnam, right? To Indonesia. Why? <laughs> Why? Because previously many workers many workers can work for this uh, multinational manufacturing company. But now they will go back to their hometown. They don't want to stay in the coastline provinces uh, anymore. They don't want to stay because the living expense become higher. Higher. Okay, after 20 years the uh, economy development, all these uh, coastline provinces uh, uh, they <laughs> become more expensive right, in their living condition. Okay? So, now many workforce previously they work in the coastline province and now they went back to their hometown. Right, so, many multinational manufacturing companies cannot find enough uh, workforce. Do, do you know what's their turnover rate or employment? Turnover rate. Every month, 20%. Every month, twenty percent. You know, Asus, Asus had a uh, five hundred million. Uh, sorry, five hundred thousand factory located in Suzhou. You no, know, ten years, uh, twelve years ago, they set up this uh, factory there and hire five hundred thousand. Uh, sorry, uh, a fifty. Sorry, fifty thousand. A uh, fifty thousand workers in one factory. Now, think about it. Every month, 10,000 workers will uh, leave this uh, factory. Right? And the HR people need to recruit and hire another 10,000 workers. Tough, right? Very tough job for HR people. Okay? Fine farm, what's that? When company want a foothold in a developing country, they need to research labor cost, cultural difference, benefit, legal jurisdiction, and how to hire people locally, as well as the uh, role that government play in contract and enforcement. Okay, 10 years ago, but if you want to set up a factory in any city in China, the local government will help you. They will find enough worker work for you. But now, no, no way. You cannot do this again. Okay? okay, because people they don't want to stay right in the city. They want to go back to their hometown. Okay. And also, you know, now China government, they promote, they promote, raise the salary, raise the salary, and ask money company to raise their salary for the worker. Okay? Yeah. Within uh, this three years, the wage increased double, three years. Increase double three years in the coastline province. Coastline. Okay, so why employment location is important? Yeah. So if you know the situation, you, you should, can explain why many Southeast Asia country is rising up. Uh, rising up. I write that because they can provide the cheaper workforce, okay? And the government provide the incentive to attract 
more than company to set up the the manufacturing factory here. Then that let's uh, talk about another issue: increasing diversity, increasing diversity of labor uh, forces and workforce. Labor market are increasingly global and diverse. Diverse. Okay. Yeah. So you should increase your international competence, right? Because now the employment, the labor market become diverse and global. Okay. And the people with the education skill needed in today's global economy are increasingly available and everywhere. Making potential employees available from all races and ethnic origin and nationality. Right? There are many Indian uh, PhD students in our campus, do you know? Indian. And you can find many Indian engineers work in Taiwan. Many. Right? Because they are uh, three high tech high tech campus. High tech campus. No? High tech high tech and science campus in Taiwan. Tainan Taichung and Xinzhu, right? And some uh, very uh, famous uh, high tech company like uh, uh, TSNC, right? Yeah, and uh, yeah, no, uh, ASEN, all this the top one, top one company, right? In their specific uh, business. Okay, so there are many uh, Indian engineer was hired. Was hired. Okay. Mini okay, then I'll talk about this. Uh, so, emigration and immigration. So, millions of, pe of people work outside their home country, either as traditional uh, expatriate or hire to uh, emigrate to uh, fill vacant job in our country. Do you know how many Taiwanese working in China? Do you know? How many? Don't know. As my uh, very uh, convert Conservative uh, estimate of one million. One million Taiwanese working in China now. One million. Okay. Yeah. One million. You know, only Shanghai, only Shanghai, they are more than. Uh, only the Shanghai city, uh, Shanghai city, not including the not including the suburban area. Only Shanghai city. There are three hundred thousand, three hundred thousand Chinese live there. Set up company. I will set up coming there. Not including their family. Not including their family. So if you want to include their family, almost two million. Right? Two million. So it means that two million, at least two million Taiwanese now work, working and living in, or living in, in China. Do you know that? You don't know. <laughs> so every time when we had a, uh, the presidential presidential election. Wow, many airplane need. <laughs> okay, yeah, They're for flight, very uh, frequently, and a double flight, a double flight. Okay. Some country like the Philippines purposely mention the presidential level force to work in other country every year. Do you know how many uh, 
this uh, immigrated the worker working in Ch in Taiwan now. Worker. Three hundred thousand in Taiwan. Three hundred thousand in Taiwan. Uh, come, most of them come from Indonesia, Thailand, and Philippines. Okay, so all these uh, uh, immigrated worker, uh, they now work in Kaohsiung, no Kaohsiung, Tainan, Taichung, okay, Xinzhou. Right. They. Uh, some of them are work as a worker, and some of them are work as a housekeeper. Housekeeper. Yeah. In addition, millions are forced uh, from their home because of a civil unrest and natural disaster, okay, and become permanent uh, a refugee. Yeah. So many of them come from the Middle East, right? Middle East. Or African, African country. Uh, I have been, I have been a <laughs> the immigrant student in in Canada. I attend the immigration school six months. Most of my classmates, you know, Arabian, Arabian, African, I. <laughs> Yeah, south no, and uh, the southeast, uh, southeast uh, people. Uh, no, South American, South American, uh, middle, middle and South American. Okay, so the, especially most of them come from the Middle East and Africa, and some from Russia, the Russia. Most of them uh, come as the permanent refugee. No. Okay. And in Europe, you can find that uh, some trade treat uh, treaties, as the one that uh, create the foundation for the EU, right? Include a provision to facilitate the movement of workers between countries. This allows people to seek the best possible work opportunity for state EU firm in creating the high quality workforce by drawing on a talent from throughout the Europe member states. Yeah. Mm. I remember uh, 10 years ago, uh, no, 50 years ago, uh, 15 years ago, when I vi visited uh, uh, East Germany. Is a German. Wow. It, at that time, most of the East Germany cannot find a good job. They cannot find a good job, and they were uh, transferred to to the, the West German, right, to find the the cheaper the cheaper job. Fifty fifty uh, fifteen year ago when I visited them, but now many uh. Right, East German. Oh, yeah. The, the now the German, the German, uh, the German pr prime prime minister come from East German, right? Do you know? Do you know that? Now the the primary minister, right? She is the she yeah uh, she uh, grow up she grow grow up yeah uh, in East German. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, uh, some of you know all this uh, staffing option, right? Ethnocentric. What do you mean? Ethnocentric. Uh, this uh, modern company who hire their intermediate manager from the home country. No? Ethnocentric. And the polycentric. This the money company, they hire local talent, work in every foreign subsidiary. Okay? And the regional centric. 
You mean that when a company hire their talent from the the same regional the same regional area country and transfer them within this uh, okay within this uh, region and then geocentric geocentric is the uh, staffing staffing manager across border no matter if, uh, where he come from okay and he can be assigned to work in every country any country okay even even this uh, manager maybe may come from the developing country and work as the CEO as the CEO in the uh, in the the, the headquarters no this is geocentric the Dupont the Dupont Dupont CEO right come from East, East Europe country